let me shed some light on how you can get from point A to B in your health and well-being journey like that. Now, if you were trying to drive from point A to B, say you were trying to get from Sydney to Brisbane, you would utilize Google Maps. You would utilize a road map that shows you every step of the way to get you from point A to B. So if you bring that context across to your health and fitness journey, how are you going to get from point A to point B? Say point A is you feeling stressed and overwhelmed and you're unsure what decisions to make to actually bring about sustainable results on your health and well-being journey. And say point B is you feeling confident and safe and secure in your health and fitness journey and you trust yourself to make quick decisions that align with your health and fitness goals. The same thing, you need a roadmap that tells you what stepping stones you need to achieve to be able to get from A to B. If you're unable to find a roadmap and to find the things that you need to achieve, you're going to be constantly driving around in the same circles, just as if I was trying to get from Sydney to Brisbane without Google Maps, I would probably drive around in circles and drive myself insane. And that's what majority of people do on their health and well-being journey is they don't want to ask for help or support and they end up driving themselves insane because they consistently get the same disheartening results. If you're looking at actually wanting to transition from point A in your health and fitness journey of feeling stressed to point B or feeling confident and being able to make quick decisions in your send me the word roadmap and let's speak to how we can formulate a roadmap to help you transition from point A to B.